Hello everybody, welcome to Daily Entomologist. <clears throat> and uh, finally, I got uh, all my grasshoppers sorted. And they're all ready now. Um, they're, I got them everything in order to get them their new labels. So all that's left is actually getting the labels made and putting them on. And then obviously getting them in their unit trays. So, <clears throat> if you've seen the, well, the last video I just put out was the, uh, out, you know, I went out collecting. Um, but the video, video before that, um, which I'll add into the end, uh, end credit scene if you haven't seen it, um, was pretty much just before I started working on the grasshoppers and stuff. So, nothing was sorted. It was all a mess and... Now, finally, I made a really good progress. Um, so, I'm just gonna just do a quick overview of everything. Um, starting this uh, little thing right here. Actually, I'll just. Bring it over here, stick that down. So on here, just a um, Melanopolis differentialis there, uh, Melanopolis vivitatus. Um, a few uh, Desostera carolina sitting up there. Um, and uh, Eastern Lovers. So that's uh, looking all ready to go. Um, go through the two drawers and stuff in here. Got uh, <clears throat> some uh, Sphoregamen species, Trimerotropus species. Um, got a Xanthopus corallopes up there. Hibiscus. Um, Arphia. Uh, some more trimerotropies there. Um, some other. You know, Melanop Melanopolis borealis down there. And some other uh, random species. The uh, Arphia Xanthotera. Really gorgeous looking. <clears throat> I don't know what's up with my voice right now. Um, the other drawer here. We have some uh, Arphia conspersa up here. All sorted and organized for labels. More random ones there. Nothing really much too showy down here. Well, here we have a Cerbula admirabilis, uh, and, and, and Mirabilis. Pretty beautiful species right there. Um, I'm actually gonna well, actually I'll just leave that there. Two bots here. They have a Cordophaga virida fasciata. Pretty common species. Um, Arf Arphia sulfuria. It's from uh, Wisconsin and Arkansas. Um, and here we have some bird grasshoppers. 
and some uh, pygmy grasshoppers there. Um, we have a uh, Hydrotedex trifasciatus. Uh, another Arphia there. Some uh, Plains Lubber. Uh, Death to load them by color there. Some other interesting species. Um, I'll just come over here. Here's the rest of the Desostera Carolina. I got a lot of them. Um, over here. Kind of, sorry, kind of blocking out the light. We have a Camnula pellucida there, a Crothopus penis, and uh, some uh, Melanopolis species here that I went through this morning. Um, this uh, right here has a Melanopolis femurubrum, and then uh, Melanopolis sanguinopes. Which I went through an ID this morning, uh, looking at the male's genitalia. Um, so I was pleasantly surprised by how much sanguinopes I had. I thought a lot of it was well. The cutoff cutoff is uh, here. So the first two rows and part of the third row is femurubrum. Then the last two rows and part of the rest of this row are sanguinopes. So kind of even out. So I'm glad I was able to get through those. Um, up here, nothing too showy, just more smaller stuff. Of course, got Ramiria bibitata down in the corner there. Wyoming toothpick grasshopper. Small species of bird grasshopper. Um, then these two are what's left are my katydids and crickets that I if I deed. So those are all in order now and ready for labels as well. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much an uh, overview of the grasshoppers and katydids and crickets and stuff. So I'm really happy with the progress. Um, so like I said, the next step is uh, getting labels printed and on them. Then after that, we'll be getting them in their unit trays and into uh, their drawers. Um, I did order new, more trays, and hopefully they'll be here soon. So hopefully I can get most of them in uh, some drawers. Um, ideally, I, I like that to be the next video to show you the finished product. Um, but we'll see. There'll be a video eventually, as soon as I everything gets all put away and everything. But whether it'll be the next video, I'm not sure. But yeah. As of right now, I still have a few grasshoppers that I need to... I haven't been, been able to ID. Um, 
I have some specimens from last year that I need to get labels on, but those are only a few, so what you what I showed you in this video is pretty much everything. Um so yeah. I uh, hope you enjoy. And uh hopefully Sooner rather than later, everything will be uh, put away. So comment, like, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for the uh, next one.